Representative right Joe Salazar, I'm candidate for Attorney General because we need an Attorney General who will actually fight for the people, who will go after this administration, just like the New York Attorney General is doing on health care. And what do you hear from her? What do you hear from Cynthia Kaufman, who's in that building? Nothing, right? What do you hear from her when it comes to concerns about oil and gas? Nothing. Oh, no, no, you do hear something. She sues the people on behalf of oil and gas. That's what you hear. You know, this, uh, this session has been the most interesting session that I've, I've had here at the legislature. This is my fifth one. And I think it was the presidential election that really set the tone for this term. There was a lot of hatred that we saw coming from our friends across the aisle. There was a lot of prejudice and bigotry, and very horrible things said from our friends across the aisle. Yes, and just recently, just within the past couple of weeks, they took it upon themselves to start proselytizing on the House floor. To sit there and talk about what it means to be a Christian. To sit there and talk about what it means to, 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 to be a believer in Jesus. And while all this was happening, they were supporting an administration and a U.S. Congress that would remove health care from 24 million people so that way rich people could get a tax cut. Is that what it means to be a Christian? Is that what it means to be a believer in Jesus? No, it's not. And I was really upset about that. That they believe that they have some kind of moral authority because they go to church on Sunday mornings. Well, they may go to church, but I'm not so certain that they're listening. They're not listening to the sick and to the poor, to the weak, and as the Bible says, the least among us. Instead, they're listening to those who have the ability to take out their pocketbooks and write big fat checks to them. And as a matter of fact, just to follow up on the oil and gas situation, you saw that they voted against the siting bill, my, uh, Representative Mike Foote's bill, saying that you have to site a thousand feet away from school properties. Did you see how much money oil and gas started piling into their coffers? Over a hundred thousand dollars. And all those Republicans took a no vote on that bill. Think about that. What in the hell has happened to our government? What has happened to our government that is so easily bought and paid for by special interests, by insurance companies, and that we have human beings not honoring other human beings by affording them the most basic of human rights, which is health care. We have to be concerned. We knew it was coming. As soon as the election was over with, we knew this day would be here. They tried early on to get rid of Obamacare, and they failed, but now it looks like they're doing something just as dastardly. And it is our moral imperative to rise up, to stand up for people who cannot stand up for themselves, for the weak, for the poor, for the homeless. For those with pre-existing conditions. 